Hello, everyone. Two big guys try to force each other out of a circular ring. That's all most of us know about sumo. You can't even imagine how versatile and amazing this type of martial art really is. Sumo represents a whole world with bizarre traditions and strange rules. And today, we've prepared the most interesting facts about it for you. Let's get it on. Sumo Wrestlers and Girls Let's start with the most unexpected fact. You know what typical sumo wrestlers look like. Turns out these guys are very popular with the ladies. Seriously, gigantic wrestlers in Japan are admired by millions of women who consider them the embodiment of male beauty. Just take a look at the 2011 Subaru advertising campaign, where sumo wrestlers pose on the hoods of cars. Girls adore not only the strongest champions, but also novice athletes. Perhaps the reason is the widespread belief that sumo was invented by the gods. Or maybe fans really dig powerful stature, but the fact remains, Japanese standards of male beauty are slightly different from ours. Rituals in the Ring Okay, the ring has been built, the ceremony has been held, are we going to see the fight now? We'll have to show a little more patience. The rituals are not finished just yet. After the wrestlers have been invited to the ring, they prepare for the fight in a special way for about four minutes. After bowing to each other, the rikishi go to the corners, stamp their feet, and receive special water and paper. They are believed to give power. They rinse their mouth and use paper to wipe their lips afterwards. Squats and weird hand waving are meant to show that the wrestlers have no weapons. They also throw the salt on the doyo again. What if the evil spirits are back? Then goes a little warm-up strength called Shiko, and the fight finally starts. Special Diet oh. The average weight of Rikishi is about 150 to 160 kilograms. Why do these guys need to be so heavy? It's simple. There are no weight categories in sumo, and the heavier you are, the more advantage you have over the rival. Think wrestlers eat tons of hamburgers and drink gallons of protein shakes every day to get this huge? Not at all. The soup called chankonabe is enough for them. It's simple to cook. Pieces of meat, fish balls, tofu, and vegetables are added to a pot of boiling chicken or soy broth. The portions are quite standard. Apparently, the secret of the sumo wrestlers is that that they eat often and according to a strict schedule. Oh, they also eat pies made of crushed rice. Just one piece of it contains as many calories as the entire bowl of rice. Prizes for the champions. <laughs> Why do sumo wrestlers put so much effort and put their health under so much? Is it for the sake of prestige and the honor to raise this huge cup over their head? Of course not. The Emperor's Cup is just one of the few prizes awarded to champions on the last day of the tournament. Each of the winners in the fighting spirit, outstanding performance, and technique categories will receive a trophy, a plaque, and 2 million yen. That's over $19,000. Add to this a bunch of gifts from various organizations and regions of Japan, and sometimes from foreign governments. For example, last year Donald Trump personally awarded the champion. <laughs> Ranking system How do you level up your character in most online games? You become stronger, defeat more and more rivals, and rise in the ranking. In sumo, the principle is exactly the same. About 550 wrestlers are divided into six divisions. The highest of them is called Makuchi. It features 42 of the best Rikishi. Next comes the second highest division, Juryo, with 28 wrestlers. Both Makuchi and Juryo members can appoint servants from the lower divisions. They have to carry the wrestler's belongings, dry him with a towel, and generally do as they are told. How to avoid this? That's right, win and move up the ranks. The highest rank. If there is a strict hierarchy in sumo, then there must be a top position, right? The highest rank a wrestler can reach is called Yokozuna, or Grand Champion. To get this title, you need to go through all the divisions, get to the highest one, and win two major tournaments in it in a row. How difficult is it? To date, only 72 wrestlers have received Yokozuna status since its introduction in the late 1700s. But it's worth it. The Grand Champion is considered the living embodiment of sumo. He cannot be demoted, and will calmly retire when he can't perform on the ring as he used to. Slender Rikishi when we speak of sumo wrestlers, we imagine mighty and huge men. But things were not always like that. The old photos of the late 19th century show us slender and muscular guys. Moreover, even in the first quarter of the 20th century, Rikishi looked more like fitness fans. However, there are exceptions today, too. This athletic-looking wrestler is none other than Shiono Fuji Mitsugu, a Yokozuna and 31-time winner of the Emperor's Cup. He was the first wrestler to achieve more than 1,000 victories over his career. All this with a modest weight of about 120 kilograms. And of course, you have to remember the legendary Pavel Boyar. This sumo wrestler from the Czech Republic made his way to the top division, weighing only 90 kilograms. 
The heaviest sumo wrestlers. Well, it's time to see giants among giants. How much do you think this guy weighs? Konishiki is considered the heaviest wrestler in the history of sumo. For his simple yet effective fighting technique, he was nicknamed Dump Truck and Meat Bomb. He suffered an injury to his coccyx caused by a stool collapsing underneath him and weighed from 280 to 300 kilograms, according to various sources. After finishing his career, Konishiki went into business. He also had a cameo in Fast and Furious 3. Only a sumo wrestler nicknamed Yama could compete with him in terms of weight. At the age of 22, he already weighed 233 kilograms. Here we go. I don't think that anyone. Oh my. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and became the heaviest beginner wrestler in sumo history. In his prime, his weight exceeded 270 kilograms. He was probably the heaviest person ever born in Japan. Special clothes. If you travel to Japan one day, you can recognize a sumo wrestler by two particular features. The first, of course, is his huge size, and the second is traditional clothing. Yes, in everyday life, sumo wrestlers have to wear strictly defined clothes that demonstrate their rank. Do you hear the clatter of wooden footwear? This means this is a beginner, or rikishi from the lower divisions. Wrestlers from the top divisions wear sandals and split-toe socks. But the most important rule applies to outerwear. Believe it or not, even in the middle of winter, sumo wrestlers from divisions lower than the third cannot wear coats and scarves. Only a light kimono is allowed. Traditional hairstyle we saw a lot of wrestlers today and everyone had the same hairstyle. Is this a corporate style thing? In terms of complexity, the Shonmage hairstyle can compete with the trendy modern haircuts. In Japan, it is made by only 55 hairdressers authorized by the Sumo Association. Rikishi's long hair is combed with four handcrafted boxwood combs, styled with a special stick, tied with a wax paper rope and fixed with fragrant chamomile wax pomade. But fashion has nothing to do with it. A similar hairstyle was used by samurai in the 8th century, and sumo wrestlers continue to do it as a tribute to the past. Besides, it can protect the wrestler's head if he collapses on the ring. Mawashi we have to tell you about the only clothes in which the wrestlers go to the ring. This belt is called Mawashi. Look what the sumo wrestlers have to go through to put it on. A ribbon of coarse fabric is passed between the legs, wrapped around the body, and tied in a secure knot. It's easier for wrestlers in the top divisions. They are allowed to wear silk belts. There is another type of Mawashi in the form of a bright apron called Kesho Mawashi, which is worn only during ceremonies. It's ordered and paid for by sponsors, so logos of popular brands can often be seen there. Oh yes, sumo wrestlers never wash their Mawashi and just dry them in the sun. Sorry, but we had to mention this. Driving ban. Thank, Thank you very, very much, much, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. Right, right now, now I, got I got to tell, to tell you about. about. There are many restrictions in the life of a sumo wrestler, and the ban on driving a car is one of them. No, not because of what you see on the screen now. Everything is much simpler. A man of this size creates a serious danger both for himself and for those around him on the road. And this finally became clear after the accident involving the wrestler, Mito Izumi. Today, the ban applies to Rikishi of any level. They either use a taxi or special minibuses. Violators will face a serious punishment. For example, Osuna. Narashi, who got into a traffic accident in 2018, had to retire from the sport. Armed Judges while wrestlers wear modest attire, Gyoji, a sumo referee, dresses as if he has to perform in a Japanese theater after the fight. Of course, he does not need traditional national clothes to show off. This is how he demonstrates his title. Lower division Gyoji wear a simple cotton robe and walk barefoot, while the high division judges wear colored silk robes. By the way, you may have noticed a dagger in the belt of some judges. Do they really have to defend themselves against sumo wrestlers? Only the Tate Gyoji, the referee of the highest category, are allowed to have weapons. In case of a bad call, he draws out the dagger and commits Harakiri. Oh my god! Okay, relax. Today it's only a symbol of the judge's impartiality and respecting the rules. Stables. Maybe some of you still dream of becoming a sumo wrestler? Then let us tell you more about the life of these giants. Each wrestler belongs to a heya, a training center where rikishi live, sleep, and train. The word literally means room, but these centers are commonly referred to as stables. Get ready for a Spartan lifestyle. Waking up with the first rays of sunshine, a grueling five-hour workout on an empty stomach, doing laundry, cleaning, and other chores for senior officers. Only sumo wrestlers from the major divisions and married wrestlers are allowed to leave the heya. Yes, and one more thing, most of the centers adhere to the policy of no internet for the first three years of training. Well, still want to become a sumo wrestler? Hold on a second. Do you want to see some crazy stories from real life? Nothing dull, only action. Only adventures, chases and fights, love confessions and sudden betrayals. Don't believe us? Follow the link and see for yourselves. Our animation channel Private Diary reveals the deepest secrets. Don't forget to subscribe.